Hello, uh, I'm, my name is JP. Stands for Junkyard Phone In, but JP is way easier to remember. Alright, yo, check it. I'm the come up from the scum gutter. I'm the dumb cutter. You look at me, who am I else like no other? Live from Marin Baby, my dad's a farmer. Yeah, just this week she broke through the fence. Like, no, oh, I guess I need to fix that. Put a gate up. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. One's a dad, two's a mother. The one's a little lamb. Jumping around, I can't grab him. I don't think maybe it was right to think that everything I was doing should have been stopped, if that makes sense. I hope maybe someone else might understand it and get something from it. But I'm like a very off the grid kind of guy. Uh, you know, that like love of the whole thing. I like kind of woke up one day and was just super disillusioned with everything. At the moment, me and Punctuation, we're working on a couple collabs. Um, you know, having been like of some, some proficiency and then starting again from below that. I mean, I'm not like a thug. <laughs>
of some some proficiency and then starting again from below that was like really disheartening so i had to really push through that and really sort of rediscover why i learned the first time like what pushed me the first time uh you know that like love of the whole thing and i think rediscovering that passion and that love made me have like a deeper uh appreciation for, for kind of why i went through it the first time so yeah so so, so how so what ma what made you rediscover uh, well first what made you stop and get out of it and then what made you go back to it and rediscover all this i think the first time i stopped it was just like i don't know i'd gotten to this point in my life where i thought i was doing all the things i was meant to be doing like and you know my life was kind of relatively normal you know and on this trajectory and then I like kind of woke up one day and was just super disillusioned with everything and it was just kind of like like it was like the first time I actually woke up and was like what am, what is this like what the fuck is going on and what am I doing and so I just decided to completely change everything which I think some of that was very misguided but I think through through doing that and then uh sort of coming back to it I kind of understood why I was doing it in the first place and maybe those like feelings of disillusionment maybe there was some sort of justification but i don't think maybe it was right to think that everything i was doing should have been stopped if that makes sense yeah yeah and uh, so uh have you released any are there any like uh tracks where we can listen on spotify oh where, where we can listen to your tracks so uh, at the moment i only have collabs so there's one on spotify grimace embassy um with uh you know lane i think you've interviewed him before and uh marin's a punctuation um so i did a few collabs with them um at the moment me and punctuation we're working on a couple collabs um might be a while before that's out but that'll be out somewhere for sure for definitely so yeah so that, that, that's that's the only uh, what about your like soundcloud is there stu is that stuff there that we can listen to no no i don't i don't have a soundcloud i'm like a very off the grid kind of guy like i didn't have facebook i didn't have a working phone number for a few years so you know i'm <laughs> i'm out in the sticks man <laughs> well, look fair enough but you've got uh, the guys who are working with you who are not out in the sticks and <laughs> who can who can help uh uh get the stuff that you make out into our ears uh oh, so what's coming up so yeah me and punctuation uh, along with jack sank the boat we've been working on a lot of stuff um we got a few like good tracks we're happy with so good tracks i'll say um and uh we're still in the process of writing a few um so might be a ways off but that'll be sometime in the near future so uh in terms of uh big huge musician names who who, who inspire you who, who gives you oh that's hard man um i've been listening to like some tommy Wright the third i really like his stuff um but also i mean i like i feel like i don't stick to just one genre like i really like victor soy we've kind of talked about him a little bit um i really like him for i think the same reason probably everyone else likes him you know he's just real um you know didn't sell out that kind of thing but um besides that i mean i really like uh mr lift he's a, ra a rapper mc from uh new york city i'm pretty sure um his his track return of the b-boy that's like fucking crazy listen to that um I don't know. That's such a hard question when you say that. Your mind always goes blank. I'll stay with those three. I'll stay with those three. No, that was a, a very good answer. Uh, I think. Uh, look, uh, bro. I uh, thank you very much for talking to me. I look. Uh, for, uh, I wish you keep being inspired as you have recently been, and I like you uh, coming to all the hip hop parties. I like to see you. At love your bloody sad freestyles uh, yeah. no, I, was, I was paying very much attention to it last time look all the best to you uh, uh, that's, that's all I gotta say uh, thank you 
<laughs> guys uh, yeah just stay tuned check out other interviews with other cool artists hip hop non hip hop uh, yeah check it out uh, and uh, keep an eye on these artists they're gonna be killing the color years time uh, thank you brah any last words um keep it real <laughs> cheers starting to feel like the same way that I felt before that I tried to escape but I'm looking over at the hole and I'm thinking that perhaps I might want to jump in just you know but maybe I got a real back on that I don't know man I'm just trying to get into the next day but it seems that I can't even do that so I wake up and then I feel like I'm gonna be in my own grave so I go to sleep and I just dream but I can't dream I can't sleep I can't see anything so before I get back on the horse I think that perhaps I might not need to go and 